Testing feasibility of RFID in the retail environment plays a large role in what we do here on a daily basis. RFID is quite beneficial to retail stores along the lines of loss prevention as well as item visibility. If a theft were to happen inside of a retail store that was using RFID, you're able to have overhead of which products were going directly out of the storefront at any specific point in time. This in turn can trigger the camera system and alert a siren to go off. One of the other demos that we have here at the retail side of the lab is the changing room. With the antennas established towards the ceiling of each changing room, we are able to maintain visibility of each article of clothing that enters the room. The last aspect of RFID in the retail environment is what is known as a cycle count. Maintaining a level of inventory that corresponds to the level of demands that are expected is always on a store owner's mind. Having to constantly count inventory levels by hand or by using barcodes requires time and energy. With an RFID handheld, you can scan a gene rack with approximately 500 genes in under 5 seconds. Another way that we are able to run cycle counts here at the RFID lab is through a robot known as Jenny 5. This robot, built by one of our students pursuing his PhD, has a map of the retail store that is uploaded to the robot. Then it is able to drive autonomously around the lab performing a cycle count, which eliminates the human element. Many companies have already established their own RFID models to help with stockouts. One major retailer, for example, found a 26% reduction in stockouts in their stores.